Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the latest home video review from my at Flick Direct. And for today's home video review, I'm here to talk to you all about Halloween Ends on 4K. Halloween Ends is the third and final installment in this new Halloween trilogy that was directed by David Gordon Green, and it's also the final installment to have Jimmy Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode, as essentially in the film, not only do we get the final epic conclusion between The Shape and Laurie Strode, but we also have this character study of somebody who is essentially infected by evil. I was really looking forward to Halloween Ends, as you can probably imagine, because of the epic showdown between literature on Michael Myers, but what I was expecting was this interesting character study that comes before all of that, and the character study I actually found to be very, very interesting. And by the end, what I think that David Gordon Green and Dan McBride have made along with their co-writers is something that has been very, very interesting and definitely a subversion of the expectations of this trilogy, especially for a trilogy of a finale of this Halloween story. And I definitely think that Corey Cunningham was definitely a very interesting character to have the main focus of in this movie. When it comes down to the kills of Halloween ends, the kills in this movie are pretty freaking gnarly. In particular, one that involves a radio DJ, this kill was absolutely bonkers and holy crap, this kill you have to watch in order to believe it. Not to mention as well that the movie is beautifully shot and it still has that classic Carpenter score that you've all come to know and love. And it just might be one of my favorite scores of the entire Halloween franchise. It is, it's actually a really, really good score. Getting into the audio and video quality, starting off with the video quality, Halloween Ends in 4K is presented on an aspect ratio of 2391. What I think stands Halloween Ends apart from kills in 2018's Halloween is that this one, more than anything else, I think goes back even more so to having that 70s look to it. Whether it's the framing, the composition, the style, and how they move the camera. Image quality is crystal clear, especially when you see the close-ups, not only the characters' faces, but the shape's mask has never looked as cool as it ever has been. And the colors look good, skin tones look natural, black levels look phenomenal, shadow details look absolutely incredible, and whenever Michael Myers goes on his killing spree, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Going on to the audio quality, Halloween Ends is on a Dolby Atmos track, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, to say that this track is a, way for it, pun time, a killer Dolby Atmos track, I'm sorry guys, I couldn't resist. Halloween Ends Dolby Atmos track is a terrific Dolby Atmos track that is full of so much life but so much thunder. Dialogue is crystal clear. The film scored by John Carpenter, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, sounds absolutely terrific. The film's licensed tracks sound good. The ambiance sounds really, really good, bringing in some creepy, nice atmospherics throughout the entire film. Whenever you hear Michael Myers stabbing somebody with that knife, it is so satisfying hearing the knife going in and out of somebody's skin. As screwed up as that might sound, just trust me when I say this, guys, it sounds absolutely terrific. There is a particular kill that involves a blowtorch, and hearing that blowtorch roar and then just melting someone's skin off is so freaking satisfying, you guys have no idea. To say that the Dolby Atmos here is absolutely killer, pun intended once again, is an understatement. Finally, moving on to the special features, Halloween Ends comes with some pretty great featurettes. My favorite feature out of all of them titled Final Girl, and as you can imagine, it's a feature that's centered around Jimmy Lee Curtis and her time on the Halloween franchise, and knowing that this is her final time reprising her role as Laurie Strode, this was by far the best feature of the entire thing, I'm not gonna lie. I did get a little emotional. There's also a really funny gag reel, and there's a great feature called Ending Halloween, and there is more. All in all, what we have here is an interesting character study with an epic showdown that includes great video quality, killer audio quality, if I'm saying that once again, with some great special features. So guys, let me put, if you're a big fan of the previous two Halloween films in this trilogy, definitely pick this up. I hope you all enjoyed my home video review of Halloween Ends in 4K. If so, please hit that like button, also share, and don't forget the subscribe button and the notification bell for our latest home video review goes live. If you guys want to see any of our previous two home video reviews, please click on the right there or right there. And of course, until our next home video review goes live, we'll see you guys next time. Have a wonderful day, guys. Hit like, smash subscribe, and get notified for whenever reviews, interviews, and news go live.